going in on that sub tournament just for fun. Just kidding. No, I need to. I need to run it. I would have to run that whole tournament myself or get a friend to help out. But regardless, it should be a fun time. All right, let's do it. By the way, uh, it is best of one. Uh, the Q, you would just type exclamation point join. And I think the Q is full right now. It may or may not be full. Let me check. I'll check in a second once I choose my team. And ooh, we have coaching Riolu, I'm certain. That's coaching Riolu and Calyrex Ice. I'm slightly concerned about like speed swap shenanigans. I can, I feel like Zerni, not Xerneas, but the Pheromosa has got speed swap. Um, I can lead off Whimsicott and Zacian and kind of Nene on a few things if need be. In the back, I definitely am going to enjoy having Incineroar, and I think my last Pokemon's going to have to be Lapras for, for that reason. We're going to have to go full Hyper Offense to make sure this thing can't set up on me. Yeah, let's do it. I installed this, or I installed, um, Wallpaper Engine on my PC. And it's really cool because, you know, that, that little effect I have going around, going around, going on on my stream, like the little background here, the purple grid, that's that's now my desktop wallpaper. And I, I didn't realize I could do that. So that's really cool. By the way, the, the queue max is out at five people. So I'm going to finish up these five matches and then open up the queue again. Or I'll open up the queue at like one. So yeah. So for now, the queue is full. Queue max is out at five. I am concerned about Snorlax blowing up. I am concerned about that. Like, Custap Snorlax does not sound fun. Ooh, Calyrex has two abilities. Ooh, he's so cool. <laughs> my name's Calyrex, and when I have my abilities active, Weezing can't turn them off. It's lit! That's how I picture Calyrex as like uh, that one fish from Spongebob who experienced high tide. That's the voice I give Calyrex in my head. <laughs> okay, uh, so it's it's usually Sash and Didi. Um, I'll go ahead and intimidate here and just go for the... I'm not going to sub yet. I'm not going to sub. I'd rather get damage off. They could Dynamax, but I don't really mind it. I want to get rid of Ndidi above anything else. Yeah, Weezing not being able to turn it off is so dumb. And apparently it's a byproduct of having Unnerve. Because Unnerve has priority when it comes to abilities. Like, there's such things as ability priority. Uh, Leonard Craft made a video on it, The Wobble Fett. If you guys aren't subscribed to him on YouTube, check out The Wobble Fett. He has amazing mechanics videos. Um, but he made a video on it, and he explained, like, yeah, certain abilities have priority. And there's the Trick Room, which I am very, very cool with. I'm very, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly pretty enthralled. TBH, I'm pretty enthralled. I definitely want to keep intimidating. What I can do here is get in Lapras. And I think I'll also just switch in Whimsicott. Yeah, because I can't... Pre I mean, I could... Mm, I don't know. I, I just don't want to take a, a Max Quake with Zacian. I want to avoid as much damage as possible. What other abilities have priority? I don't know! <laughs> I forget... He talked to he talked about it in the video he uploaded the other day. But if you guys want more info, the Wobble Fett on 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 freaking YouTube, Twitter, everything. He's really cool. I prefer Jollyzation just because I don't like I don't know being slower than opposing Zation. And the damage output is negligible, like the difference. Um, so like I'm I'm just cool with Jolly. Most Pokemon, you want to run Jolly unless they're absurdly fast. Uh, if it's like a really common physical attacker, most of the time you're going to run a speed boosting nature to avoid losing a speed tie. Or not a speed tie, but to avoid always losing what could have been a speed tie. Max Quake, please be into Whimsicott. That'd be pretty lit. <laughs> I'm still thinking about... uh. I'm still thinking about that stupid joke I made at the beginning of the stream, how Calyrex Ice is literally just the fish from Spongebob that experienced High Tide. There's no reason that I feel that way, that's just how I picture him. Alright, uh, let's annihilate Ndidi. Get rid of that, get in the again. Cool. 
crispy damage, yeah. Guys, I've been a The Wobble Fett fan since before anyone else. I've been watching him since 2018, dude. Alright, please be Hailstorm. Mindstorm, okay. I should take that. No Knuckle is really nice. Ooh, that did a lot. I forgot Psychic Terrain's up. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't like that. Uh, in matter of fact, I thought it was very lame what he just did there. Not because of the play itself, but because I took a lot of damage. Therefore, it's lame. Darth Horse. <laughs> this song does sound like it's from Sonic. Oh, no. No, 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 sir. No, I am not messing with that thing. That thing could be annoying. I don't want to I don't want to lose to that. Let me get in Zacian. Let me get in Zacian and uh, I think once again. I'm concerned about copycat shenanigans, so maybe I'll just target down Zacian in particular. I'll switch in Whimsicott too. I don't want to attack yet. Um because they're just going to do coaching. I'd like to minimize the damage I take when it comes to um <laughs> when it comes to max moves. So being able to mitigate this is going to be nice. I have to play around this Riolu like a monster. I have to just be like, just be on top of it. I just have to be on top of it. And I have to make sure I, I have to make sure I don't, um, give him a, a boost. What? I don't like that. Um, I'm very scared. Please tell me you went for a Quake into my Whimsicott. That would be very cool. Don't be into, into Zacian. Don't be into Zacian. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay. Oh my god, that was... That was not lit, guys. That was not lit. Alright, so... Damage-wise... What is he at? Is he at minus two? He was at minus two prior to the to, prior to the weakness policy, so he's at neutral now. Yeah, and he has special defense boost. He definitely doesn't want to take a plus one Behemoth Blade. Uh, and we have one more turn left to Trick Room, and I don't want to give him a boost. How many turns left to Psychic Terrain are up? There's one turn left to Psychic Terrain. Here's what I'll do. I'll protect. I'll get in the Incineroar. I'll get in Mr. Cinnamon Roll. And then I'm going to fake out, and I'm, go I'm, go I'm going to eliminate the, the Riolu. Actually, that isn't even necessary, because he can't copycat Trick Room. I can also just spam fake out for the meme. Alright, good boy. Protect. There it is. Please let it be a Max Quake into the boy. Max Quake into my Zacian, please. I'd really enjoy that. I'd really enjoy that. Glacial Lance. I should eat that pretty well. I mean, I, I take that. I take that. It was only neutral, but that still did so much to Incineroar. Oh my god. That was neutral, right? Because we intimidated him on the way in? Or am I forgetting all of my stuff? Am I, am I forgetting every play I made? No, that was neutral. That was neutral. <laughs> Bro. Can we don't? I'm going to sub here, and I'm also going to go for a fake out on the Calyrex. Nice. Bunk. No trick room for you, sir. Calyrex is kind of a threat, to be honest. Yeah, this is a scary team. This is a very scary team. Okay. My hair doesn't want to stay in place. It does not. Behemoth Blade the Calyrex. And... I could I could target Riolu, but I'm scared. I'm going to just double in the Calyrex and hope it doesn't have Protect. Which I don't think it does. Are you going to substitute? Okay. Dang, Shardy. Okay. I said dang because this is going on YouTube later. <laughs> Calyrex Ice might be a little bit better than Calyrex Shadow. It has a lot less weaknesses. Or not a lot less weaknesses, because it's weak to like everything, right? But pretty cool still. I flare blitz into you, right? Did I? Did I double? I better have doubled. Okay, good. We got rid of it. No trick room for them. No sir, no sir. Where's my root here? There it is. Guys, drink diet root beer. It's lit. I 
I never realized there was a size difference between the substitutes. It's absolutely adorable. Um, I should be able just to... Just to Nene. I, I feel like Behemoth Blade into Darkest Lariat should do it. I don't have any attack drops. I haven't even Dynamaxed yet. Let's just... Let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it, dude. I'm currently running Eternatus, and I gotta say, it that thing doesn't die. Facts. You have to run Cosmic Power Eternatus, and it just it just does not die. Big Cat. What up? Air Rock protects. That's fine. I mean, like, what, what, what do I lose from this turn? Coaching? Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, it'll drop the next turn regardless, though. Eternatus Martin Soul Rock time. Alright, Max Darkness. I mean, it's gonna do, like, nothing, but... We're just doubling into the only threat left on the field. Like, Riolu can be a threat, but more of in a supportive sense, like how it was clicking coaching next to that thing, but... I mean, even with, like, plus two defense, I'm gonna say we still probably knock it out. With Behemoth Blade and stuff. Max Darkness. There's the coaching. Another defense and attack boost. I wonder if I can crit with this Behemoth Blade. That'd be really cool. Behemoth Blade is such overkill on any non-Dynamax Pokemon. Like, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Was that necessary? Fighting Master, thanks for the follow, and I think that might have crit. If you're at plus two defense, was that a crit? It was not, okay. I was gonna say, like, Marowak has good defense. Marowak has pretty good defense. Like, its HP is bad, but when you max it out, it can eat a hit really well. And at plus two, it's gonna eat everything. Alright, so I just, I just Behemoth Blade. And, uh, I can max Flare now. Alright, so good game. The Dashing Subtile, that was a really cool, that was a really cool team. I like that a lot. As they detect, they're like, I'm gonna win my timer. You guys think Flare Blitz will, or not Flare Blitz, but Max Flare will break the sub? It is a Riolu, but these things are usually Eviolite, right? They're usually Eviolite, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I couldn't even eat it. Okay, cool. I mean, I just clicked Behemoth Blade. Copycat in the sub was really, really clean. Oh, okay, double detect. <laughs> By the way, guys, these, these viewer battles are best of one for the sake of me, like, getting to people. Because someone mentioned, like, Marcus has game one, and I'm like, no, uh, I have game. Yeah, we're just doing best of one so I can get through as many battles I can with as many people as possible. Yeah, Zacian learns in prison. Was that three in a row? Am I pay am I paying attention? Was that three in a row? That was that was was that three in a row? Am I dumb? That that, that was three in a row, right? Go for four. <laughs> that was three in a row. 10% chance. Because it's 100, and then 33% of 100, which is 33. And then 33% of 33, which is 10-ish. <laughs> you got a triple on me. <laughs> oh my god, okay. All right, so... Uh... Your mental, or your real Louis mental herb, okay. Ooh, okay, Torn Ogre. So this looks like a fairly standard Torn Ogre team. Um, I think I'll just go Weezing, Regigigas on lead, to be honest. Like, that that seems perfectly fine. Uh, Lapras in the back could be kind of good. Maybe I actually just go Lapras. 
Lapras can kind of mess up the team if I play it right. Maybe I just bring Lapras. I could, I could. And hey, Necra, thank you so much for the for the raid. I appreciate you. 60 people raid. Dang. Oh, hold on. I have to focus on this. So, I mean, there are a couple of things I could do here. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to bring Whimsicott. I can probably bring Lapras just as a general check to um, the Kyogre and the uh, and the Tornadus and the Amoongus. But I feel uncomfortable, you know, doing that. I, I, I feel, like, fairly comfortable with the choices I made, but not amazing, if that makes sense. Hope you have a great stream. Viewer battle sound like a lot of fun. This is the exact same I'm running. Ooh, okay. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's followed. Okay. So they go whimsic <laughs> whimsicott. <laughs> they go <laughs> that's a whimsicott, everyone. That that thing, the mushroom looking thing that is among us, it is whimsicott. He said the word. He said among us. Okay. Friday night funkin' X Moxie Boosted Kalai when? Uh, next week. Next week is when we do that. I mean, I can just very easily double protect here and scout for whatever comes in. I just don't want to get faked out on my wheezing. There's not really a, a reason not to go for this play. Beyond, like, a very aggressive read into a switch or something. But it looks like they were anticipating, like, a Zacian lead, I assume. Like, Whimsicott, Lapras. Whimsicott, Lapras actually would have been a very solid lead uh, call for the lead. Just a very happy Pokeball. All right, there's the fake out. There's the Spore. It's very difficult for them to dodge a Spore. I feel comfortable just doing my thing here. Um, yeah, we'll just taunt. And I, I don't want Tornadus to come in for free. As much as I'd really love to Quake, a Max Strike is technically the right play here, just in case Tornadus comes in. It's 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 not likely Tornadus comes in on this. In fact, it didn't just now, but I didn't want to Quake. I'm hoping non-intimidated Regigigas can one-shot this Incineroar. We have no idea how, how they're running this thing, but I, I feel like the Quan Machine can do it. For anyone new to the stream, we refer to Regigigas exclusively as the Quan Machine. It's Quan time. <laughs> as it protects, uh, that's cool. I'm gonna lower whatever speed. If no, I mean like, if it survives, it's it's whatever. I don't care. Okay, one shot. Cool. Regigigas did the thing. <laughs> Regigigas did the thing. The Quan. And the taunt goes into nothing. Um, it looks like Amoongus is probably just going to sacrifice itself to save something in the side. I feel good about the position I'm in. Unfortunately, if a Tornadus is in the back, they are going to get Tailwind up 100% of the time. Since uh, it's going to outspeed Regigigas and I can't taunt it. Why is it called the Quan Machine? There's this stupid meme that's just a picture of Regigigas doing the Quan, and it just says Quan Machine going full throttle. Oh! I can live with that! Uh, hopefully it's not Focus Sash Amoongus. You know, hope it's not. I mean, they, they should fully expect to get taunted, right? They should switch, right? I can go for my Will-O-Wisp, right? I don't know. Let me taunt. <laughs> I'm gonna taunt anyways. Uh, and we'll also go for the max strike into it. Just in case it is Focus Sash that feels right. Actually, there's no point in taunting. It protected last turn. I'm just gonna double into it. Sludge Bomb. Max Strike. That is the play. Whatever comes in is dropping. They're gonna Dynamax. Makes sense. Makes sense. Is everybody trying to hit the quad? <laughs> you know, technically, Weezing would be the Quan Machine, if we really think about it. Because it's activating Regigigas. It is allowing for the Quan to occur. So that is the Quan Machine. On top of that, everybody's trying to hit Weezing, and they can't. There's a Rage Powder. If you're Focus Sash, you are gone. There was no point in going for anything other than the double under this thing. Max Knuckle. They outspeed me. They didn't max Airstream, which is amazing for me. Not max Airstreaming was freaking amazing for me. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and lower their speed here. 
All right, let's see if they are focus sash. Yer. They weren't focus sash, so I'm gonna hit him with a very awkward sludge bomb that's just gonna kind of slide off of the side of Kartana. I don't think poison sticks very well to steal, but it is slow now. It is slow. I can hit whatever I want in the back with a max strike and then burn this thing. Um, I did bring the Lapras in the back, but I also have my Zacian, so I should be I should be solid. Stop fighting, that's mean. There is very little reason not to go for Max Strike and two Kyogre, and I'll go for the Will O' Wisp. If I land this Will O' Wisp, it should be game. Uh, they can obviously max Airstream or whatever, but um, it becomes very difficult for them to win with um, with my option for Zacian in the back. They can protect the Kyogre, and of course, if it is Choice Scarf Kyogre, I'm, I'm gonna probably lose my. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose my uh, Weezing, and I hope it's not Choice Scarf Kyogre. If it's Choice Scarf Kyogre, I'm pretty much... I I'm, I'm in a really bad spot. Because getting off this Max Strike is very, very important. Thanks for the falls, everyone. I suppose I could have gone for a Protect. And they aren't Choice Scarf, so the Quan Machine is about to go full throttle on a Kyogre. Oh my god. Legendary, everyone. Legendary Pokemon. So the Quan Machine takes another victim. And the Quan Activator. The Quan Activator. Just neuters the Kartana. Are you doing any viewer or do you have to be subbed? I'm doing any viewer. Any viewer that's in the channel. Um, the queue is going to open up once I empty the queue. Because there are a decent amount of people in here. So I usually just say like, okay, if you're here, join. Just to make sure everyone's ready when like the queue starts. Uh, but there is there is very little reason not to just stay in with Regigigas. I guess I guess there is a reason not to. There is there is a legitimate reason not to, and that's to avoid getting max knuckled. So let me just go into Zacian here and protect. Uh, and then I'll get plus one in close combat. Okay. Max Knuckle. Probably into Zacian, who can eat it. And uh, I don't think this thing can take a close combat. Or in, in honor of uh, the Quan machine activating the Quan on... The Quan is like the force for this team. I'm just... The way we're referring to it, it's like the force. The Quan machine is going to leave activating the Quan. <laughs> I'm going to go into Lapras in close combat. I'll get plus one, and then I think close combat will do enough to KO. What's the EV spread for the Weezing? I believe... Let me check, because this is a team that was sent to me on Discord. Uh, I believe it's just max speed, max special attack, or max speed, max HP, something like that. Let me see. The Weezing is max speed, 244 HP, and 4 in, like, everything else that could be in there. So basically max speed. <laughs> max speed, max HP, almost. Alright, cool. So the Quan Machine was able to go full throttle in that match. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is our first Xerneas. I have not faced a Xerneas yet. I've piloted a couple of Xerneas, but... Can it handle the Quan? Can Xerneas handle the Quan? I don't see any Quan answers on lead. Hey, and Nasty Mike, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the Boosted Boys. Eighth best Twitch fan base. Uh, and I think... I think Incinera is probably my best bet. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Quan Machine is going to go full throttle again. It does look like a Joe team. It could be a Joe team. I remember seeing a Xerneas team. It might be Joe's. Hey, thanks for the follow, Nahu. It is Geo Team? Okay. It's Joe UX9. The Joe UX9. Of the Joe UX9 community fan base thing. I mean they're just gonna they're just gonna friggin' do the do the thing to the Quan machine, so I mean like I can I suppose I can go for the taunt. And I'd like to remove this thing from the field. Do I lose anything from taking the Incinera from them, like turn one? Do I lose much from that? 
I really don't beyond inviting in the Amoongus. Which I don't mind too much, especially if I'm lowering the Xerneas' speed. Yeah, I'm going to try to take this uh, Incineroar from them turn one. So I don't mind getting faked out. Because the, the risk reward is really, really high. As they withdraw the Xerneas, is something going to get taunted? Metagross? I mean, I don't mind that too much. So they were trying to switch that in on the max strike, but the Quan Machine is an intelligent being. The Quan Machine is an intelligent being who most certainly didn't just get lucky there. Free Wisp Poggies, yeah. <laughs> Especially if, if there isn't a, uh, if there isn't a freaking Amoongus in the back, that is a Free Wisp. And oh wow, they went for Parting Shot. Goodbye, goodbye. How's it going, man? I've really been enjoying your YouTube videos lately. Keep it up, my guy. Hey, I appreciate it, Nasty Mike. That feels weird saying out loud. Thank you, Nasty Mike. Aha! Good luck. I don't know, protecting? I, I guess that's what they do. I guess that's what I just prevented. Unless I faced it like the only autotomized Metagross in the metagame. Alright, um, like you guys said earlier, free Wisp, free Wisp, free Wisp, and also max strike the Xerneas, because if they Geomancy, they lose it. If they max guard, I still Will-O-Wisp the Metagross. Like, they're, they're kind of in a pinch here. They're in quite the pinch. Can you please send me the Quan meme? I want to see it. Let me see if I can find it. Quan machine going full throttle. Juan. Images. Reggie Gigas. Dang it. Why can't I find it? I can't find it. <laughs> it was on Twitter. I know that much. I'll find it after the stream and maybe I'll put it in the Discord. If you guys aren't part of the Discord, check out the Discord. Right here. I'll, I'll put it in the Discord at some point. And Diego, welcome to the stream. Like I said, if they max guard with the Xerneas, they're going to end up getting taunted. On, or they're going to get burned on the Metagross. Hopefully. Like, that's just hopeful thinking. Max Strike. I'm going to do like 50% to this minimum, I'm sure. Oh, that is a thick deer. That is a thick deer. And we connect. Cool. Guys, we're at 123 viewers. Shout out to, I don't know, me and Necra. Thank you so much for the raid, Rosemary. I appreciate that. And the Max Starfall cannot stop this. Uh, how full is the queue? The queue is currently closed. I open it up at the end, or at the beginning of each, um, at the beginning of each group of five. By the way, I should close. There it is. It's closed. <laughs> so, uh, it's only five people per queue, and we're at number three in terms of battles, so... Uh, I'll open it up again in a second. After the after the fourth battle is when I open it up. Yeah, Metagross is no longer a threat. Let's just... Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Worldwide as he steps in the room. Max guard, good play. Where would the queue be? Uh, you'll see when, when the queue opens up, just pay attention to the chat. I'll also just say it out loud. It's just exclamation point join and then you'll be able to join the queue. I sense it as deer hunting. Oh my god, that did nothing. Okay, um... We get to see the meme now. <laughs> do I need this thing to win? I don't. I don't need this thing to win. So I'm gonna do a funny. I'm gonna do a funny. If you're wondering at what point the Quan Machine goes full throttle, it isn't during the Dynamax, it's after the fact. When we start clicking Giga Impact is when you see the Quan Machine go full throttle. Does they withdraw? What's coming in? What's coming in? That is that is gone. It is gone. Now, granted, um, I have probably just ruined my chances of winning, uh, because because <laughs> I can't uh, stop the Xerneas from geomancying. <laughs> 
That was actually a, that was like a Galaxy Brain play right there, because Geomancy Xerneas just comes in and clicks its move. Okay, on, on the bright side, I still have like all of my Pokemon. He has gone full throttle. Because they're going to Geomancy here, right? And I have to recharge. Um, I mean, I still have Incineroar. I haven't lost, yeah. I'll just go ahead and attempt to Sludge Bomb. A Sludge Bomb crit would be really clean here. I sure am good at using Sludge Bomb into Steel types. Facts. Facts. Don't you have Taunt on Weezing? Yeah, but uh, I can't Taunt the Xerneas because it's faster now. Crit! Oh my god, that did nothing. It did nothing. Okay, Iron Head. Doesn't knock me out. I'm probably within range of Dazzling Gleam. How much damage have I taken on this Regigigas? Yeah, I'm, I'm within range of Dazzling Gleam. Um, what I can do here is protect. So here, here's the Galaxy Brain play I'm going to make, right? So they're going to knock out the Regigigas. And by making sure Fairy Aura isn't on the field, I should always live with my Zacian. And that will allow me to, to win this next turn. Because I'm just making sure Fairy Aura doesn't exist. There's the Protect. Ooh, big brain. Big brain. Can you knock out Regigigas? That'd be, that'd be clean. Who knows, I might win regardless. Um, is it worth protecting now? Is it worth going for the double, I, I mean? Uh, not really. Not really. Here's what I'll do. I'll let both of these things go down. Next turn, I fake out Xerneas and click Substitute. And that'll be fine. Sludge Bomb. Giga Impact. I'll just let these guys go down. I think I can win. Watch Regigigas just live. It, it won't, but, you know, it'd be funny. Oh, yeah. T uh, Taitoki just posted the... Uh... The Quan meme. Alright, so I get in Zacian and Incineroar. Does, does Stomping Tantrum break my sub? That's the question here. Does it break my sub? And if so... If so, is there a reason... To not just kind of attack... Does it break my sub? Yeah, but I still don't know. Like, I don't, like if Metagross breaks my sub, I might be in range of like a Moonblast. Um, go handily live the Moonblast. Okay, yeah, I'll just attack this turn then. There's no reason to try to make that call. I'll just attack and fake out. There's the Protect, that's fine. Next turn, I'll just attack. Why not fake out Blade? Uh, in case it protected, I did not want to double into the Xerneas. Um, yeah, here's what I'll do. I'll just... Because it's a, it's a burn Metagross. Here's the thing. If they crit a Moonblast onto my Zacian, I, I might get KO'd. I have no idea what the spread is. Um, it probably won't, right? But if they crit, I have to be careful. Uh, and I'll just also Flare Blitz into the Xerneas. And this should win me the game because if they Dazzling Gleam, they don't knock out either of my Pokemon. And if they Moonblast crit, I probably just win. Yeah, I think a crit might have actually been able to KO. I'm not sure. It probably would have been a roll if they crit. Yeah, I didn't fake out Blade because I didn't want to double into the Zacian and have them protect and then get Stomping Tantrubbed and then be in range of like a Moonblast on the next turn. So I faked out the Metagross and bladed into the Xerneas. 
Because regardless of what happened, like, I would have gotten the KO. Because I feel like Stomping Tantrum might have put me in range of Moonblast. You saw how much it did. That was insane damage.